it's biology. If it stinks, it's chemistry. And if it doesn't work, it's computers. <laughs> so true. So, um, so anyway, um, you'll get to see what the outcome is. Let me tell you about the process. The process I told you a bit about what kids do in order to present, to get to the stage where they make the product, the, the, the progress. Um, what we've developed over the last, I'd say, 15 years is a whole series of tools for teachers. And these are tools which I could use, um, I mean, I think you could use, and you're doing your projects. And so what it does is every step along the way, there are prompts and worksheets or ideas or questions you can ask we got it. in order to go. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go back. Um, all right, do you want it to make it bigger? So we just click on that one. And you can click on, okay, that's great. And you don't have to look at the captions because I'll tell you what they are. This is the street uh, that I drove up to every other week for a year because I was first teaching the teachers, uh, the 30 teachers, which were the teachers from the schools in Kalanswa. And then the second half is they were teaching their kids. So this is the street going up to the, to the school. If you make a left-hand turn, you'll go in. And you'll see, it says right here, Beit Sefer Tichon Atit Kalanswa. And it says the same thing there in Arabic. Go ahead. And this is what you would see on the day where all seven schools came together. So we were probably at about 800 people. I mean, 700, 800 people. It was just a huge, it was a big lawn. And every one of the schools was positioned in a different place showing their projects. Go ahead. You can see families coming. Now, what I, what I want you to look at is not so much the content of the project, so I can tell you about it, you know, a lot of them. Okay, go ahead. Is, uh, but as, um, as we go through it, take a look at the faces of the kids. How many, may I just, uh, I think you see a lot of pride on their faces, and, and, and for a good reason. Because they really, they really put a lot out in, in doing this. Festive atmosphere. Um, <coughs> so along the, the walls, you can see the projects that are here. Each one was a different one. Um, the, the, the mothers came out there, you saw the kids, the strollers, and they were actually going around. And what happens is the kids become teachers. teachers. Everything becomes reversed. The kids now are standing there telling what they have found out. It's a wonderful feeling because, um, as you know, it's not usually that way. And so you have down, Bochim Habayim, welcome. Echut Amayim, the Kalanswa, water quality in Kalanswa, Yom Sheni, the fourth, actually it was made more than a month ago, fourth of June. Um, so th these kids, as you can see with their teacher, are, are doing a whole project on the uh, river Alexander. <laughs> and they were talking, and some of them actually about what they would like to see, and uh, wow. some of them about what exists. So they were sort of looking at the differences between, you know, the, the ideal and the reality. The I, the, I think there's a, a big importance about uh, public presentation. Uh -huh. Because um, when you keep knowledge to yourself, you really don't, you, you think you know it, but you only really know something when you tell it. Or put it this way, you certainly know that you don't know when you tell it. <laughs> you thought you knew about it. And then you get into the stage and you tell. So there's a, a great educational value when the kids are actually making a presentation. They also get kavod, they get honor, they get respect, which is really the essence of, of, of a real dialogue. And they, they have, they've earned it. Here, for example, is, um, I don't know if you, might, you can see this, but here's like a flask, and there's uh, some plastic here. And then inside, where the, where the plastic goes down, there's another little flask. What they have in here is, is water with rock. So you can end up having like mud with some water in it. How do you purify it? So you can see a Bunsen burner underneath it here. 
And what happens is, is an old technique, I'm sure you've seen it before, but the kids actually try it and it worked. What happens is you evaporate the water, the water hits the, the plastic. In the old days, it might be a sheep's intestine. And then it trickles down here, there's a rock on the top, it trickles down here, and then it drips into the small container. And this is something that's been used for a long time. Uh, so they did a whole series of different ways of water quality. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, projects that had to do with growing, growing stuff. And one of the interesting things they found was that you can use a certain level of salt water and you can't tell the difference between the, the height. So that some brackish water can be used for... Uh, how much, how many, how many parts? How many parts, I don't remember exactly what they were trying. Um, I love this picture because it... it I mean, these, <laughs> guys, these guys, you know, we know what we're doing. You know, you want to find out, talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> they, they did Especially it. the dude on the left. He's like, what? Not <laughs> <laughs> about him. Look, not everything is roses. Um, maybe the dude on the left was one of the examples. I don't know. We have we have this phenomenon called the Trumpisting. The Trumpisting are people who sort of get a tramp, get a uh, like a hitchhike. Yeah. And, and sometimes, if you're not careful, you can find people who are involved in a, in a project, and they basically jump around for the ride. They don't really get involved. Mm -hmm. So this project is not a panacea. It's like anything else. It's a technique, and it can be used well. It can be used poorly. There are things you need to know about it. But it's another technique. So it's one of the problems. So here you can see this girl talking to this woman and explain to her what her project was. And it's a very common sight. See them uh, being kind of bashful, but they sit up in the, uh, the challenge. The person here with the white shirt is one of the uh, inspectors or the uh, supervisors of the uh, Arab sector. They did something on dent I don't dentistry and water and fluoride and you know, teeth hygiene. It was basically. Uh, something in the mind of this teacher that she really wanted to do this. You really have to do a lot of water, but he said, fine. Here you see a situation where, I don't know if you saw this teacher before, right here, and, and on either side of her are, are parents who she enlisted to get involved. We've had projects with uh, other in situations where we also use uh, parents involved in that. So what's nice about the, about the project is not only do you as a teacher get to decide what you want to teach? You get the kids interested in what they're doing, but you bring in community help. And the community help could include uh, parents, include uh, experts. We have people coming in from uh, all sorts of areas that are involved. And you see the kids are excited about something. You know, the adults you know, come in and they're very e eager to help too. So it's basically a cross age thing as well. Sorry, we lost our wireless. So okay, well, I think that's enough for right now. I think you know it goes on and on, but and if you want to, I can send you guys the link. But um, just to show you what comes out of it. So 